I am Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this nice transition. So let's get an After Effects and get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and this is the transition that we are about to create. Um, also, if you want to use this in other editing software like Premiere and things like that, you can definitely do so if you follow our tutorial on how to export without a background because actually it has a transparent background so you can just put that video on top of uh, your cuts in editing software and then you will have this transition. So um, for those that don't want to follow this tutorial, you can also buy our template on our website. A link will be in the description and then you can just edit the text or already have the uh, transition as you wish. And also um, it supports the channel so we can uh, put more effort into our channel. So that's it. Uh, let's get started with the tutorial and yeah, uh, create a new composition. We are going to use full HD right here. And I'm going to name this main tutorial comp as I'm already using um, this composition here. Um, I'm going to choose something like 10 seconds long and click OK. Then we're going to create a new solid layer here and we're going to make this white. So let's name this white. OK, then duplicate it and we're going to rename it to red one and change it to a kind of red light color something like so and click OK and then we're going to duplicate it again by the way duplicating is done by holding Ctrl and pressing D on the keyboard um, then we're going to the solid settings here and we're going to pick like a nice red saturated color click OK so now we have three solid layers that's all we need so let's uncheck all of these and just start with this white one if we go to the effects and presets here uh, we're going to search for linear wipe. So right here, we can drag this onto our solid here. And we're going to change our wipe angle to minus 60. And also change this to like 100% the transition completion. Click on the stopwatch and move ahead a few frames here. So press U on the keyboard to reveal your keyframes. So we are going to zoom in here a little bit and we can see that uh, we are here at one second. At one second, we want to change the 100 to zero and now we have this kind of animation. So we are going to make it a little bit faster here and uh, select both of these keyframes, right click and go for, well, I'm not sure why, select both of these, click on the right click on uh, the keyframe, go to keyframe assistance and click on easy ease and there we go now it's going to start from well from slow to fast and then slow again if you want to exaggerate on um, this animation you can also jump into the graph editor and play with these here so uh, it can pull these in and that way you you can see on the graph it starts real slow goes really fast over here and then it's uh, it's slowing down again so this is what we have now. Uh, what we can do now is copy these keyframes, uh, edit copy or just Control C. Open the uh, well, uh, and check the check the uh, red solid one, and paste it again. And then for the other red, also paste it over here. So of course, if you copy linear wipe, and I don't know why, it always forgets uh, the wipe angle. Uh, so that's something that is really uh, bothering me, but if we change this back to minus 60, we should have the same animation. And there we go. So now we can only see the top one because they are not offset. Uh, what we will do now is also select these two layers, press U on the keyboard to reveal these keyframes, select the keyframes of the second layer and then move them a little bit forward. And then for the last one, move them a little bit more forward. So we have something like this. And there we go that's pretty cool actually um, and then you can play around with this if you want like shorter bars if you want something like this you can play around with that uh, for example if you want motion blur you can also do that and toggle the switches go over here to motion blur and enable motion blur and now we can see the movement right here So for me, I like the last one to be a little bit bigger and the first one to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to offset them just like this. All right, so if you want to use text or so, we can click on this red layer here and go to um, layer, pre-compose, and we're going to leave all the attributes in the main comp. 
um, and we're going to rename this to actual uh, text for example click OK and then if we jump into that layer here in that composition we can add a text over here whatever you want I'm not trying to ask you to subscribe but I couldn't think of something else uh, so right here we have our subscribe um, text and if we go back to the main comp tutorial uh, we can see that right now we have our text in there so it's actually that simple then all you should do is once you have a um, specific time of a specific amount of um, that you want to show this frame here uh, you can go over here to for example two seconds and then you can click on the wipe angle press U on the keyboard to reveal your keyframes again and also click uh, as for a stopwatch of the um, and then also make a keyframe for the transition uh, completion and then we're going to move one frame forward and change the uh, wipe angle actually to uh, 120 and actually we can move this keyframe one forward so they are on the same location right here and then all you should do is um, move a little bit forward again and change this to 100 and then uh, of course you should trim these two down so we're going to trim them down I'm going to delete these so it comes up subscribe and it goes away so that's actually it so and then you can play around with your keyframes to make it longer shorter whatever you want and as you can see the background is transparent so you can use it in uh, Premiere or Final Cut or Sony Vegas whatever your editing software is uh, you can export it of course if you want to change the text you'll have to do it in After Effects um, but yeah some people might like no text at all because uh, you just want the transition so uh, you can make some and export them for editing software alright hopefully you enjoyed this video um, if you did give it a like also subscribe to the channel for more and thanks for watching goodbye